Well, I went to take a little chillax break real quick and I uh, sat on it and all of a sudden the thing fell apart on me. Hello ladies and gentlemen, machines and machine freaks. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Today, our patient is Crush, like he's been for the last couple weeks. He's looking like he needs some, some work. And that's exactly what I plan on doing with him today. Today, I got the rock rails back from the powder coater. They look amazing. I will show you those in just a second. Now there is one thing that I have to bring up about the shocks and the, the rock rails. They're kind of not... Well, they're just about the weirdest shade of blue ever. Uh oh, Jake Toilet Snake's here. Oh wow, those are bright orange. Aren't they? Yeah. I was just done telling the YouTubers that this is the weirdest shade of blue I've ever seen. You guys know that I originally wanted to go with blue well, when I took it to the powder coater, he said that he had blue. I just didn't know that he was down to only one shade of blue. And the one shade that he showed me was terrible. So I didn't want to go with that blue. So I said, well, do you have orange? They had orange. Did he ask you what they were for? Yeah, they're like, what the hell are those things? Yeah. <laughs> they, they look weird. Don't they? Without knowing what they're for. It's like, what the f is that thing? How many times have we taken that seat out already? We gotta dismantle this thing even more. And when Jake got up here, he was like, man, this thing's apart as it is, so yeah. it's gonna it's gonna be pretty torn apart. Let the dismantling begin. Correct. Now the thing about YouTube and real life, uh, they're, they're way two different things. Real life, you do things really, really efficiently and you don't do it twice. YouTube, you tend to do things multiple times to get uh, content out for you guys. In real life, you do A, B, C, D. But in YouTube, you do A, B, C, B, C, C, D. I personally have no problem with either way as long as I can make some entertainment for you guys. Now there are certain times when I'm like, man, if I just didn't make a video about this, I would never have to do this ever again. Due to the fact that Crush still doesn't have shocks, he's sitting on four jack stands, two back there, two up here. You can see that the front end's still taken apart because uh, like I said, life makes sense to do one way. And, and another thing is, is we probably won't even get to that today because the welding that's required on this and the shocks it's going to be a big job. It's going to be something that is going to take up a little bit of time and make quite a bit of content. Don't tell Jake, but I got a little surprise for him. I guess not a surprise, but a project. Oh, they're all wet. They're gonna get rusty. Got a nice little project for you. <laughs> Jake's went ahead and disconnected the negative terminal on the battery. He's gone ahead and taken off the plastics. I've ground this down ground our first uh, weapon, I mean uh, rock rail, down. So now we're going to... Did you do that on purpose? So I'm gonna take this procedure really, really slowly because I don't wanna melt off the powder coating and I don't wanna melt the, uh, the plastic here. Dirt don't hurt. Unless you get into ball bearings, then it's no good. But if it goes in Jake the toilet snake, it's, it's all right, right Jake? I got a good filter system. <laughs> That's right. What are you running, like K&N, uh, high flow? I can't do <laughs> So it looks like we can make just taking this back fender off and taking off this one piece of plastic here and then clean this stuff up, clean the rock rail up a little bit so the, the powder coating's off of it so we can have a nice clean surface. Weld it there, weld it here, and then weld it back there on that bracket. Jake's gonna work on that side. And your truly is gonna work on prep. It's always nice when you can't fit your head in the spot you need to get to. That's looking awesome. Jake, those sockets are really looking great. <laughs> and, and the rock rail too. Well, we have the gas tank out. As you can clearly see, I've done about uh, a third of the way up here on this part of the rail. 
I've done about uh, half or maybe 60% of the welding on this joint and then about 80% of the welding on that joint. I'm trying to hop around so that I'm not just burning the powder coat off of here. I'm doing my, my best. This point, um, as you can see, obviously it was you know bound to just fall off of there, but what I'll do is I'll grind this down so it basically goes down flush into the frame so that if I do run into any trees or run along any kind of trees, what will happen is the tree will nicely glide down the frame, down the rock rail, and then avoid my tire. But if I have this weird little bump right there, then it's gonna catch a little bit and I don't want any catching at all. I want the drag coefficient of any trees or rocks to be next to zero. Jake took off both the back tires so that I can get to these joints easier. Haven't even done anything on this side yet. It's right there. What happened? Did all the snow fall? We got trouble? There's trouble here? What's going on? Should I panic? Uh oh. Dan the man, lock the door. He's got the merch! Danny's leaving. He brought up a few of his friends, some fellow machines and machine freaks, and I asked them because all, all I literally did the entire time was weld this thing while they were standing here talking with me. And I'm like, it's a lot more boring in person than it is on YouTube, right? And they're like, yep. There is a lot of welding involved on just this stupid one rock rail. I haven't even gotten to the second one yet. But you have to take your time because like I said, this is powder coated. So if you start heating it up too much, it'll start melting away. This joint's completely done and that joint's completely done. This one is just gonna be a pain because it's just so long. While I let my welds and my welder cool down, I'll show you my latest purchase for Crush. New front bumper. Now Jason originally took home the one, the bumper that was on here off and went to go get a sandblasted because he has a sandblaster, but he said it was like impossible to get whatever they put on there off. I, re I really liked the front hitch, but it didn't really match with what was going on. It had, it had a hitch system that you could put like a ball from a trailer on and you could, you know, tow a trailer around. But, but Crush isn't made to be a utility vehicle anymore. Crush is going to be a race vehicle. And when you're a race vehicle, you want to protect everything that you can protect. So that's why I bought this beastly thing. Well, you guys, usually I show Crush who's boss, but today Crush showed me who's boss. His rock rails, his tree kickers, his tree bars, whatever you want to call them, they took an extreme amount of time, and the welding felt like a never-ending challenge, but they are finally on. I'm still letting my welder cool down. As you can see, they're welded on. I understand a few of you were wondering why I powder coated them and then I welded them on. Well, the thing was is I didn't want to tear the frame completely apart. That would have taken much more time. I knew if I took it slow enough that I could salvage, you know, 95%, maybe even 90% of the powder coating. I didn't want to just weld them on uh, bare steel and then paint them black or paint them orange because paint does not last in New York State. Paint falls right off. Uh, you give it a week, give it two weeks, and it's already showing rust, and then the process continues. So now what I'll do with all my joints that uh, meet this black is I'll actually have ridges here. I'll put tape here to make it look like a ridge to have this kind of sharp thing going on here. And then right up on the front, I'm going to tear it down to a point. So I guess you just gotta trust me. I understand sometimes it doesn't make sense at first, but there are, you know, there's always a different way to approach things. There's multiple ways to approach things. This is just the way I wanted to take. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. So if you like what we do here at 3D Machines, don't be afraid to go to machinemerch.com, get some super fly merch. It comes a little cleaner than this, believe it or not. And if you can't afford to do that, go ahead and smash the like button. I'd really appreciate it. Until next time, Crush and 3D Machines out.